was there any uh, history of mental illness with him, or when's the last time you saw him? Uh, you know, the, the, my son, uh, I, I hadn't seen him for years. I thought he, had, I thought he committed suicide. His, his mother told me that he. Um, I, I'll give you a history. I was a, um, a, a a porn star. Okay, I became a porno star in 2002, and I I, I combined it with a mixed martial arts career. And my my ex was offended. She she took off with my son. I hadn't seen him for years. Um, little did I did see my son. You know, I tried to give him, you know, the father figure. Or whatever. I didn't know where his lower whereabouts were. Um, I found out recently that he did not kill himself in 2016. That he, um, that he's, um, you know, alive and well. You know, and um, he lives in Colorado. Yeah. Why did you think he had killed himself? Well, uh, his mother told me this. She I said see. that he killed himself because of um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an embarrassment to him. Um, my son is. Um, I loved him so much. You know, I didn't want to lose. Uh, you know, be around. I wanted, I wanted to be around my son and be there for him. You know, I have a daughter the same way I had my son. I, I, never, I never see my kids. I never, you know, but um, I want to be in his life. You know, um, I, he's been accused of doing some crazy thing. I don't know what he's been accused of. I can't get answers from the attorneys really, but they're saying that somebody's you know, it's involving a gay bar or some shit. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the heck he's doing. We have a gay bar. Um, I don't know what's going Well, he's accused of going on a mass shooting at a gay bar and killing five people. Colorado. Okay, well, well, that's how shit. I'm excused of doing that. I, I, I'm glad he's not gay. I don't know if I can say that, but I'm glad he's not gay. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? Um, shit. He was, uh, I saw him. I made efforts to see him. I think I see him in 2000. Um, I guess it was 2011. 2011. Yeah. It's been it's been quite some time. It's a 2011. Yeah. Was um, he living in San Diego at the time? He was in Carlsbad at the time. He came back from Colorado. They were here. I had a little bit of a relationship with him. He was 10 years old. You know, I was holding myths for him. You know, showing showing him how to. I wanted to be a professional fighter like me. I wanted to be a fighter. And um, you know, I don't know how much he takes after me, whatever. But um, you know, I said my, my son. You know, what the hell, I, I didn't expect to hear. This kind of stuff. Um, he's a big kid. Yeah, he's taller than me. I mean, he's like six seven. He's a big guy, you know. He's, he's, like, he's six seven. He's almost three hundred pounds. So you said you've been trying to reach him now. No, he reached me. He reached out to me. Okay, and said what? You know, um, I have. This is my son. My son is just say, "Hey, Dad, I want to talk to you, man. I want to see you." I was happy to hear when to see me. He wanted me to come out to Colorado, and um, I was like, "Sure, I don't have to." I can't just get out to Colorado like right now. And he wanted to then, right then and there. And it seemed like he was old. You know, he was happy to see me right or he wanted to see me. He needed something right then. It was urgent. So I was a little alarmed by that. Mm-hmm. This so, was 2011? No, nah, it was last year. It was last year. Oh, okay. You know, I found he's alive. I was happy to hear he's alive. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So he contacted you last year and he wanted yeah, to well, see Yeah, well, he you. reached out to some, uh, some people. Even, and he was, um, he said he got his attention. He got. He called some people that I knew, that he knew I knew, and um, I was. The bridge the gap between my son and I. These, these people did. Um, the Kennedys, the Kennedy Insurance over there in um, El Cajon. Like they're good. They're, they're, they're good connection with me and my son. Cause like they were around my life when my son was a baby. You know? So. Yeah. Was there any indication that he was distressed or that he was upset about anything when he contacted you? What did he tell you? Uh, my my son, he, he, he seemed like a he seemed like he's, he's a man. I'm talking to a man on the phone, you know. I was like, what the hell? Is he? I'm talking to a grown up here, so it's a little weird. But he's a like, young, he's straight up. My son uh, just laughed at me. He had words, and I just got so impatient. With him. I said, "You want to kick my ass, kid?" And he, he was like, "Yeah, you want? Don't you think he's raising me?" He said, "Who the hell do you think you're raising me? I don't care how big you think you are. You're kicking my ass." I found the UFC, and if you go do that, you're gonna get you're gonna bring your lunch. As I told him, he's, "Oh yeah, come on, kick my ass." He's, I got news for you, Bucko. I can kick your ass still. Um, I just hate to say it, but I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He's a no belt in jiu-jitsu. I love my son. Uh, I love him. I, I want the, the idea of seeing him again, but, um, you know, ah, shit now. Wait, so he contacted you on the phone last year, and then you ended up Six arguing months. on the phone? I argued argue on the phone with the guy. He was just telling me, he said something. He said something to me. We had, we had a little clash, you know, and um, he, I guess he was going to bulldog me on the phone. He got the wrong dude, man. That ain't me. I, guess, you know, I, mean, I, mean, I did him a disservice I'm not in his life but um, uh, did he tell you he had been in trouble with the law last year um, he told me he couldn't leave Colorado that, that kind of struck me he mm-hmm. said he couldn't leave Colorado so my son 
So I said, hey, come on here. I said, there's the address right here. And he was asking about security fences and shit. Is there, is there a security fence? I said, why are you asking? You being a smart ass? You, want, you, 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 you knock on the door, I'll come get the door. You ain't gotta sneak around. Do you have any idea why he changed his name? Yes. Why did he do it? His mother told me he changed his name because I was on intervention and I had been a porno actor. It was a document of the laughing stock. You know, everybody's laughing. Ah, your dad's a porno star, you know. And it's just like, it's an uncomfortable laugh for people have when they find out you form a porno star. It's like, all right, a porn actor. It's, you know, so I haven't even done porn. I stopped doing porn a few years ago, a couple years ago, because it it's causing me a lot of problems. I was getting high on meth, and I was just like this. And I have permanent damage from meth. I was using this for years. You know, I can't I have tardive dyskinesia and a lot of the nervous system movements and stuff I can't ever get rid of because of uh, meth I use. I had to get out of that business, but uh, that's, that's, that's it right there. But I was on the Intervention TV show back in 2008. I almost died using drugs, you know. What, it, what show is that? Intervention, television show. Intervention is on A&E. It's just like a documentary where they'll... A&E, okay. They'll follow a person that's addicted. To, like, I, was, I was peaking in my addiction um, for, for meth in 2008. It was the worst I'd ever been. Mm -hmm. was light, it was life threatening. I was, and I, if I hadn't stopped, I would have been dead. I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for... Something. Well, do you have any idea why he picked the name Anderson Ulrich? Where did that come from? I have no idea. He's got other, he's other, tomorrow. He's got other issues going on, possibly. But I, um, I know one thing. He, uh, he had got a hold of me, and he's, he's, he's pissed off. He's pissed off at me. He, don't, he wants to poke at the old man. I said, you need to poke at the old man. As long as I ain't poke from a rifle from down the street, you don't want to get shot. But he wasn't talking about shooting me. He never made any threats towards me like that. He never made any acts of stress. He's he got a little fresh with me. I'm not well, he, he's accused of walking in with an assault rifle. And, no, I think he's and not then he was shit. tackled by yeah. another patron who was a veteran and pinned him down. God, what a dude. And then so they arrested him. Why would he do him. this? Why would he do this? He didn't shoot anybody then. He didn't actually shoot anybody. Well, they are accused of killing five people. So they say he killed somebody. Five, and people, five people. And 18 other were injured in that. Same so the day. guy that grabbed him is a hero, basically. You know, I say, look, I just say to my son, I'm ashamed that you did that. So you're going to be going killing people like this. It's just in that cold blood. If he goes and kills people with cold, in cold blood, um, I don't know if he tries to do this or not. I don't, I don't, I could never do it myself. I don't, I wouldn't stick my son to do this. Do you feel uh, like you knew him well enough no. to indicate Last why time. he would have done something like this? <laughs> there's no except there's no excuse for going and killing people. If you're killing people, there's something wrong. It's just, it's just, it's just not the answer. You're already, you're already gone if you're killing somebody. It's, just, it's not socially acceptable. You can't just go and kill somebody. Yeah. Was then, he in San Diego from the time he was? Was he born in San Diego? Yes, or he was born. Guy? He was born right here in uh, oh. my Sharp Mary Birch Hospital over here. Uh, up, uh, off the 163 right there. And then so, did he- did Get he, the house! Hey, the dog's outside, get the goddamn house. Yeah, Tell us you, what kind of kid he was. What did yeah. he learn, I mean, from you? Did he learn how to shoot? Did you have weapons then? I'm not talking about a fight though, I'll tell you this much. I showed that, yeah, I showed my son uh, how to uh, how to turn his fist over and then become a, you know, a, a destructive weapon with his hands if he eats you. Know, I don't know about guns, I do, I, I believe it's like a amendment. I'm, I'm a conservative Republican. I, 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 I like guns and all that stuff, but. I like this. This was, this was the fist of cups and shake hands after a like gentleman. That's how it should be. So, you know? tell us, share some memories from his first 10 years with you. You were, until 10 years of age, he was going to school here. Yeah, you know, you know, Nicholas is a good kid now. He's, he was smart, man. There's something about him. He was really with it. He was, um, I just, I just, he seemed really he's intelligent. He's smarter than I was, you know? And I, I thought myself, I thought I couldn't serve myself being intelligent for having, being had all the head trauma I've had, but I'm actually intelligent. My son is way smarter than me. He's uh, technical, savvy. He knows how to use the computer. He's really, I mean, just really and smart. Yeah. Was, was he in San Diego County from the time he was born until 10? About 10, yeah. Exactly. Or did he go up to Orange County sometimes? No, he never was Orange County, but he's. Because um, you were up in Orange County. I was right? in Orange County. I was Huntington Beach and then in LA. I was in the San Fernando Valley. I was, but I, he stayed in San Diego County that whole time. He remained in San Diego with his stable um, uh, the in laws. When, when did you hear about the incident? Yesterday, every day before yesterday. And you called immediately, tried to reach your son? There's a guy on the phone, a real, real, real assertive and very polite gentleman who's with his attorneys. I see. And they reached out to me and they, um, and I was like, wow, my ex-wife, I just actually told me. And she said, oh my God, they're trying to reach you. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, still kind of shocked. that just five people are dead. I just hope that there's another suspect that this is not something like this. My son actually did. I don't want him to be... He's gone. He's, he's history. If he did this, they're gonna, they're gonna, 
they probably, I mean, they, they have like special circumstances for stuff like this. And involving students, so you never know what happens. Right? So I want my son to, to live a healthy life and and be and hopefully not. You know, shit, man. So his attorney has called you. Yes. yes, sir. And they said your son wants to talk with you. Why did they call you? He didn't actually. They didn't say he wants to talk to me. They said that it happened. Can you believe it happened? They started telling me about the incident. About the incident. There was a shooting involving you know there multiple people. Right. And then I found later on going to find it's a, a gay bar. Yeah. Right. And, and I was like, oh my god, is he gay? I was just scared. I was like, oh my god, shit, is he gay? Hmm. And he's not gay. So it's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's, well, you guys had had conversations about that. You, you were. Oh, yeah. So like, you, you, I was you adamant. Him, yeah, you were adamant that gay is, gay is this bad. Ain't yeah. this ain't I'm a Mormon. I'm a conservative Republican. And we don't do gay. We don't do, yeah. gay. We don't do gay. Yeah. So when did you first hear about the incident before the attorney called? You saw it on CNN? What did, what no, happened? No, I haven't seen it yet. I saw it on CNN. I How did you learn about the fact that your involved. son was involved? Right, I learned about that my son is alleged to have been, have been something like this mm -hmm. by the attorneys. The, the two, they were yesterday, literally, they were yesterday. I have no idea knowing. Gotcha. gotcha. So you hadn't heard it on the news until the attorney called. I, I'm still going to check this out. I'm going to look for like a little a clip or something like that. I mean, right, it's right. interesting to me. But my point my is. My son's he, like, well, it's a celebrity. I say it like that, but jeez, God, it's, it's a popular thing. Everybody knows about this. Can you take us back to his childhood? Because yeah. the first 10 years, you had him, right? I had him, when I had him, that's the good times right there. You know, I taught him about, I said, my son says, a fight, man on man, you don't go to get your gun, you know, you have to be a man, and then, and then it's, you know, it, you know, don't go start fights, but if you have to fight, fight hard. You know, and I was open, and I told him, I showed him how to throw a punch, and I thought, he knocked out one, or he, he assaulted, but then my, first day, before my request to one of my ex-wife's boyfriends, he was mouth on, he was, hit him right in the face, and he did, he hit him on the face, I, 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 I I praised him for violent behavior really early. I said, hey, that it works. It is in, it's instant and, it, and you'll get immediate results. And you'll always give you one you're good at fighting. But this is not something you foolishly do do and just sneak into a bar or a social place and go shoot people. Um, you know, I don't want my son to be held accountable and be there to go away forever. He's, um, it's a perspiration exposure and not the dental, death penalty is exposed here. I think he's exposed to this. The Colorado doesn't have the death penalty. They do not. Oh, thank God. Okay. It's life without parole if he gets convicted. But he's going to be um, on forever if he gets convicted. They say that he did this. If they are really connecting to this, if he's the person who shot these people, mm -hmm. they're going to have him in their first. And you know what? He has to be held accountable. I hate to say it, but I'd like to say to my son being uh, incarcerated. You know, I'd like to have a relationship with him. And I can just say, hey, look, fighting is the way to go. You don't go shoot people. Fight is a gentleman's way to fight. You know, you fight someone. What you do know? you do for a living yeah. now? Um, right now, I, I'm a professional MMA coach. I coach uh, um, free agent fighters. Uh, I also do um, scuba diving. I scuba dive over boats. I mean, you coach what? Professional? Professional mixed martial arts. Mixed martial arts. Mixed martial arts. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and yeah. how long ago did you quit the, the porn industry? Uh, 2000, I think there was, there was a couple of things for Brazers. I just shot for them. I mean, a couple of random scenes here and there a couple of years ago, but I'm not active. I don't do active uh, porn or testing for porn. It's, or testing for HIV. You know, so I have just did porn like, like 2020. 2020 was the last time I did scene. I see. I see. Yeah. Have you been sober for a while now? or uh, um, I'm off still struggling. No, I actually have. I have. Um, I, 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 I have. I said, sober. I'm sober. I'm, I'm dry, you know. I'm not using drugs. Um, but um, I have a lot of damages from drugs that have been, will never leave me. I'll never, I'll never have... Uh, Mm -hmm. There's a nervous system. I have movements and controlled movements. Were you in a program? Yeah, I, I went to a program. I went to way back in 2010. Okay. I finally started getting it. I went to the intervention, you know, and that didn't work out for me. For so alcohol well. and drugs both? Or? Um, predominantly is um, crystal meth and, uh, because it was a connection with the porn industry. I didn't uh, start using methamphetamines until I was like 28, 30 years old, like 30 ish. And how old are you now, sir? Not uh, 40, 48 years old. I'm 48. But um, I, I, I got into the pornography, sort of the performing and acting in porn as the um, uh, actor in porn. 2002, so I was like, I was 28, I was 28. That's when I started doing drugs. So then, drugs, dude, they're not good for you. And then this method's like, fuck it, just fucks you up physically and mentally. But it also does irre irreparable uh, damage to your nervous system. Now that you hear this news, alleged accusations against your son. Yes. Is there anything that comes to mind that may have people, you know, people in the community want to know why, why? you know? What was the trigger? 
bad <laughs> pun. Man, this is really good pun. This is just as fuck was him. Probably people were fucking with this guy. I heard he was heavy set. He was like 300 pounds or overweight. Who was doing that with him? I have no idea. Because it's just, it's just, oh, this is the things I've heard, you know, I've heard from. But you, know, you got to realize, I thought he was gone from 2016 until like a few months ago. You know, he called me like, like whatever, last year. Or this. It wasn't that long, even a year ago, he called me. So uh, I thought he was dead. I, was, I, I mourned his loss. Hmm. I think I had gone through a, 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 a meltdown. I lost my son. I, I blacked it out of my system. I'm going, I know suddenly I get an email from somebody over here saying he's, uh, he's alive. So this is another this, this is majorly, this is both mind blowing. Do you have any idea when he first, uh, recollection when he may have first um, tried a gun or shot a gun? I think, I think it's probably Friday's where he got hair on his ass. He started going, hey, well, I'm going to shoot this damn gun. I don't know. I think it's better sooner the better. You know, the wrong guns are not a problem. Guns are good. So you had not shown them, no. shown him how to use a gun no, before he was shit, ten no. years old. I showed him how to use these guns right oh, here. I see. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you never shot guns with him with as him. a kid. No. Okay. All right. Gotcha. All no right. way, man. There's no guns. It's, 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 it's me, the guns are the hands. You don't want to. I mean, yes, I believe in guns. I believe in um, you know, the, the right to bear arms. I mean, I'd say right. But it's a, they don't look at that here. California, there's there, 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 there a bunch of liberal freaks around here. You can't carry a gun. Here. What do you have to say to the community about this? Man, I don't know what to say to the community. That's a weird question. You have to work out. To the community, I say, look, you know, Love my son, love him through this, man. I want, I want him to get out of this. I want, to, I want him to get away with this or, or just not be in jail because that's my son, obviously. Um, but uh, I I don't, um, I don't know. I, I just don't want him to, I want the best for him. I want the, the world to love my son. Please love my son, forgive my son, you know, hopefully. If he can, I understand. But he, he walked in there and did that. I don't know what to say. I think, God, if he actually shot some people, um, God, dude. This is so, that's not something I would do. I can't relate to that. I would love my son no matter what. I love my son. Let me ask you this one question. So you talked about gay people with him, and you, you talked about them being, I, I don't know exactly what to say, these people they're, they're or really, what have really you. Mean. Let me ask you this. Do you think... My uh, personal this, experience is yeah, that. Right. But this incident mm -hmm. happened in a gay bar, right? And my yeah, question to you is, had you, uh, had his, do you think these conversations you had with him, his upbringing, uh, had you taught him more tolerance? Let me no. be direct. Do you think, uh, you know, it, he would have been more tolerant of gay people? Apparently. I think that my anti-gay, anti-thematic, they come conservative, right, I'm a conservative, extraordinaire. And I've been very vocal about that. It was I support Randy Lapel for her Instagram. I love Randy Lapel. A good American. Hopefully, he'll be president someday. Um, Randy who? Uh, Randy Lapel. Oh, Randy. Randy. Lopel. Randy. That's a good man right there. That's a that's the best man for the job. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I'm a righty. I'm just driven. We're right, the left. I'm one of the rights. I've been very vocal with my. But that's my son. I'm a conservative, and um, I, you know. Gays, I mean, as far as gays, the gays have been very mean to me. They're bullies. They're bullies. The bullies of kids think it's like reverse. Like say, back in the day, it was, it was okay to be gay. You know, it's like these guys, but now it's like it's, it's cool to be gay. It's not. It's, I, I think it's not cool at all. I think it's um. My, my opinion about gays is that it's not okay. I think people should stand up against homosexuality. They shouldn't. That's like they should go to a bar and kill people. It's social. No, it's not. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. You know, they stand up against it. What's right is right. And marriage is for a man and woman. And all this. That's, I don't go into all that, you know. It's just, it's just, yeah. Did you say you were Mormon? Yeah, I'm Mormon. And uh, how long uh, was Nick uh, he's Mormon, Mormon he's, from the beginning? Yeah, yeah, he's he from the beginning. He, so he, I, I made sure he got to get the kid baptized. I had his mom do it. His mom's a good Mormon too. You know, she's nuts. She he was with, baptized in the Mormon church. Yeah, he stayed. He stayed. He stayed. But he stayed. Uh, you know, Mormons don't do gay. We don't do gay. There's no gays in the Mormon church. We don't do gay. We have to say, we say, no, we're not going to accept gay. We don't have to do that. We're not forced to do this. You know? But, uh, yeah. Well, having given that attitude, yeah, my, my, what my, do you say to the families of the five victims? Sorry. I'm so sorry, guys, for your loss. I'm so sorry for any loss like this. I, I, I'm seriously, there's no, there's, no, there's no regard to politics or anything. It's human life. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My, my soul it goes out to you. I'm so sorry for, for your loss. You know who killed that, those people. Hopefully it was not my son, but I'm so sorry. You know, life is just so uh, fragile and it, it's valuable. Those people's lives were valuable. You know, I, they're, they're valuable, they're good people probably. You know, if 
not it's not like you kill somebody or you know kill um i'm sorry i let my son down um i, I you can quote me i let my son down 